everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you what's in our summer solstice baskets. Now each season I love to create a little celebratory basket for my boys to kind of bring in the season and as a kind of way of reminding myself what crafts and activities we want to cover as a family during the season. I tend to bring these baskets out on a pivotal time during each season. For example, um, Easter, um, the winter solstice, Halloween, and I'm gonna be giving this to the boys for the summer solstice, so the end of June. And what I tend to do is I pick a variety of things um, that I feel that we can do together as a family or materials that we can use in crafting. And so far I have loved doing this together with my boys and it's been such a fun way of creating a bit of ritual into the season. So this month I themed it all around summer and suns and I've got a few bits to show you. This isn't a huge basket, it's really just a small nod to summer and a few things to kind of get my boys excited. Okay, so first up, I always use silk at the bottom of the basket. And this uh, year, I'm actually using this really gorgeous little trug. It's by the brand Bergen & Ball, I'll link it below. And I think I got this from Conscious Craft. Um, and I think this is the sweetest thing. It's a mini garden or vegetable trug. And I've got a large version of this myself and I thought the boys would love their rooms. So they haven't seen this yet and they're gonna go wild for it because they are, they just love baskets. And whenever I bring out my truck, they always fight over who's gonna carry it. So now they'll have another one. And just so you know, my boys are four and two and they're gonna share this basket. Sometimes I make two baskets up, but this time around, I just thought I'd put everything into the truck and uh, they can just share. <laughs> So within the truck, I always put down a silk. So once I've got my basket, I always put down a seasonal silk. Now for summer, I've got this lovely yellow colored silk that I actually already had in my collection. But when I'm feeling a little bit more spendy, I usually like to buy a silk. And if I could pick any color for summer, I would go either for a yellow or a pink, I think. They're the kind of nicest colors for summer or even a blue, but sometimes I like to go for blues in winter. So it really does depend on your silk collection. Personally, I love to collect these. I use them for uh, nature table displays. I use them for play time with the boys. And uh, yeah, they're just so, so versatile, open-ended, great thing to collect. So um, next year I'll probably get a pink silk or I might even hand dye a nice silk for the basket. So once the silk is in, um, I start adding all the items. I'm just taking them all out of my basket now so I can show you one by one what I've got. So the first thing I have is a little figure for our Grimm's Celebration Ring. The Grimm's Celebration Ring, actually to have it here, is a circle made up of these little holes and it's got four parts to it. This is just one small part. And you can get these little figures. There's a whale and a cat there. These are left over from Toby's birthday. And they just sort in like that. And you can also put in candles or little postcard holders. And it's just a lovely way of I mean, celebrating things in an easy way with children. And we use ours all year round. We use it for birthdays. We use it for seasonal celebrations. It's just been such a lovely addition to our family rhythm. And each season I like to buy one to two um, items to go into that. So this is a lovely little butterfly. This is also by Grimm's, the same as the celebration ring. And it's just a simple butterfly with a little um, body and some decorations on the wings. And that will be added into our decoration ring, like so. Um, I also have a flower, but it's in my kitchen drawer somewhere. So I'll probably add that into the basket as well. So the boys have one decoration each to place in to our our Grimm celebration ring and then we usually place this on our table and then it becomes part of our daily rhythm and routine. So the other thing that I like to add in to our seasonal baskets are Ambrosius fairies. These are so sweet and um, they're quite small as you can see against my hand. They're quite small, really delicate and they come in all sorts of different um, varieties of flowers. 
So this sweet little one is a Forget Me Not, which I thought was a perfect summer flower. And she's got flowers in her hair, she's got lovely brown hair and a blue dress. And what's lovely is they have a whole range of skin colours, so you can get an array of skin tones. And they are quite expensive for the size, I suppose. They're about £11, I think. But they're the kind of thing that's quite nice to collect over the years. And they're the perfect thing, I think, to put in a seasonal basket. So we've gone for Forget Me Not uh, Little Fairy this year. Um, another thing that we collect, and I use the seasonal basket as an excuse to add to our collection with, are Holtz Tiger. Um, these are lovely wooden figures. Um, the other brand that I like is Ostermeyer, but they are a little bit more expensive. So we tend to collect the Holtz Tiger ones. And we have got this lovely seagull for summer. I adore him, he's beautiful. Little yellow feet and beak. And I've also got this lovely little blue tit. So, um, beautiful little bird in gorgeous colours. So those are going in and they, it's just like I said, it's a great way of adding to the collection little by little. We also have some colouring books. I love these um, cheap little colouring books that you can find on the Myriad Toy website. They're in German but they are seasonal colouring books and I'll just stand up to show you. They've just got really sweet little illustrations in them. And you can just, it's just all sort of glued together so you can pull out the pages. It's just very sweet and a nice thing to add in and it's not too expensive. I also got another colouring book. This is the same brand, it's the Gratz Verlag brand. And this is the Fairy Mandela colouring book. So this one has things like mermaids, fairies, gnomes, pixies in little mandala shapes which is quite fun there's a little pixie riding on a snail it's a witch in the room i can see to keep my boys occupied i thought that was quite sweet and that means they have a coloring book each so i just put that into the basket as well i actually have this really lovely crystal that i am adding in this time i saw this on conscious craft and i thought it would be a lovely idea to build up a crystal collection for the boys because I know when I was that age I was fascinated by rocks and fossils and I have a little crystal collection myself as well they are so beautiful um, but this is a nice chunky size it's definitely not a choke hazard which is good because um, Toby's only two and then you can see the lovely citrine on the top so a beautiful yellow crystal for summer so that's gone in to the basket as well but next up are these really cool seed bombs um, they're the brand Seed Bombs, spelled B-O-M, and this one is a Pollinator Bee Bomb by, oh, it's actually by the brand Kabloom, I'll link it below, and even the little container is all biodegradable, and this one is for pollinators and bees in particular, so really cool, and then there's another one here which is um, for wildflowers, I think. Edible common hedgerow wild herbs. That's pretty cool. So it's got wild marjoram, borage, yarrow, wild carrot, meadow sweet, wild thyme, and common sorrel. So that will do really well up here because those are all things that love our hedgerows already. And yeah, I thought these would tie in really nicely when we're studying about bees um, during summer and insects. And yeah, they're just really nice. And also, they weren't too expensive. You can pick up things like this for around three or four pounds. I mentioned we are going to be studying bees throughout summer. So, I did pick up some natural earth paint face paint in yellow. Um, I haven't used this brand before, so I'll open it up now and have a look. Oh, weird. So, it's sort of like an ochre colour. And again, I picked this up, I think, Conscious Craft. The colour's actually pretty good and pretty strong, as you can see. And um, what I liked about this is it's all natural. So if it's going to go on my kid's skin, it's going to be nice and safe. And the idea behind this is that we are going to do some bee stripes on our faces and dress up as bees. So I thought that would be great fun. Sorry about my chair. My chair is like super old and it just clicks away. Um, so yes, that's our face paint. Now to just not cover myself in yellow. 
Um, I'm also putting in this little Blackbird toy. This is from the RSPB, I believe. And they have a whole range of these birds that play their song when you press them. And this came from my mum and dad, I believe, a couple of years ago. We also have the thrush, I think, song thrush, um, which I need to dig out and put in the basket as well because I thought those would be perfect for summer and the boys haven't seen them in ages, so they are kind of like new to them and will tie in nicely when we are talking about birds. Um, at the moment, we actually have a pet bird, which is really fun. Um, my husband found this little starling fledgling um, half dead in one of our barns and so he picked him up and like usually we would never touch a bird i mean they're best left alone but in this case it was going to die and our cat was pr prowling about and um, so he picked him up and i've been hand rearing him but he's actually managed to go wild now which is fantastic he'll still come to me when i call him which is very sweet um, and i sometimes feed him but he is wild which is fantastic so the boys are obsessed now with birds and they've really got to know this bird and see it close up which is such a great experience for them so I think adding in a couple of these songbirds by the RSPB will be really, really nice. Um, and also if you buy them directly off the website, some of the profits of that go towards the RSPB. So I'll link that below um, as well because I think they do make a great addition to this summer solstice basket. Now I'm almost done. I've just got a couple of craft things to show you. The first thing is this really sweet magic wand kit by Cotton Twist. Um, I like the idea of fairies as a kind of theme going through this basket because of the idea of the Midsummer's Night Dream by uh, William Shakespeare, which we're studying a lot at the moment from our summer books, if you watch that video. Um, I've got quite a few books on the Midsummer's Night Dream. And I thought the boys would love to create their own little wands. So these kits are really simple. They're only a couple of pounds each, so they're not very expensive. And each kit just comes with a simple stick, um, a paper, two paper stars, um, some sticky, um, sticky dots, and some paper jewels that you stick on, and some ribbons. And the idea is that you make this wand here. So very, very simple, and something that a toddler or a young child can do themselves, pretty much. And um, Toby will obviously need a bit of help, but. I mean, I know that's within their comfort zone and it's just a great thing to pull out maybe on a rainy summer's day when you're looking to do something fun with them or on a really hot day like today where we're actually all inside because it's just too hot right now at about three o'clock. So um, I got two of those, one for each of the boys and they're going to the basket as well. Okay, and finally I picked up a packet of um, foil origami paper. Um, this I purchased off Myriad Toys and it's the brand Folia, which you can get in the US as well. And the reason I purchased this is I really want to make golden spirals to hang up as decorations in the house. And this paper was double sided and it was really, really hard to find gold double sided paper. Um, I'll just show you what it looks like here. So it's double sided, it's foil, so it's actually quite malleable, which is nice. Um, and this one's actually embossed with stars, which I mean isn't necessary at all. And I did try and find plain gold, but I could not for the life of me find it. So I've ended up with a foil origami, which is really nice actually. It's really nice quality. And there's other colors in the pack. There is silver, gold, green, red, and blue. So, I mean, this will probably come in useful at Christmas time too. We'll save the packet and we will use this for crafts throughout the year. Um, but the main point for summer is to use it for the golden spirals um, where you literally just draw a spiral like this, cut it and then make a little hole in the inner one, put a thread on it and hang it up and it just comes down like this. Um, it's a real traditional kind of like Waldorf activity. Um, and yeah, we're going to be decorating the house with those to sort of nod to midsummer. Okay, so I also have these items to go into the basket, but they arrived after I filmed the main bulk of that video, so I thought I would just show you now quickly. So I have these lovely um, sand pit scoops from the brand Willow and Wild. They're quite nice and small and perfect for playing in the sand pit. And I got one for each boy. I got a Play-Doh stamp with a little B. And I also got these little cork stamps there's a fish and a shell. 
and they all came in that little bag. And then I also got some of this lovely homemade Play-Doh, which has got really great texture actually. I've got yellow and I got black. So that's the Play-Doh there. It's got really nice texture and works really well with the stamps. Okay, and I also got some yellow sensory rice. Now, this pot had exploded in the post, sadly, so I ended up, when I put this rice back into the pot, I also got some of their packaging and um, paper chips in there too, but it's a lovely um, sensory uh, game for the boys with the tinted rice and yellow, which I thought was really nice for summer. So, that is also going into the seasonal basket, and um, yeah, I know the boys are going to love playing with this. So that is our midsummer basket there, all packed up, ready to go. Um, I'm really excited to show this to the boys and to do some of these simple activities together. Um, I think they will love it and uh, it just always gets me really excited. This is such a treat for me to put this together for my boys and it's something I save up for and really enjoy doing. And I always try and buy from good quality companies that are environmental, for example, like the Earth Paint face paint um, and things that are handmade where I can, just so it's a little bit more environmental and sustainable. And yeah, I think everything in this is going to be put to very good use between the two boys. So I would love to know um, if you're gonna make a summer solstice basket or a summer celebratory basket, it doesn't have to be for the solstice, it could be throughout summer. Um, you could even make something like a rainy day basket that you could bring out if you've got like a week of rain coming up. Uh, that would be a great idea as well and something I definitely would like to put together for the boys. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and got some ideas from it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe and leave a comment below as well because I love reading your comments. It makes it really worthwhile recording the video to get a nice comment. Um, and do make sure you check out my Patreon page as well. Um, on the Patreon I have a monthly live Zoom where we talk about the season ahead and ways to celebrate that month, recipes, things I'm doing in my home, crafts, all that kind of good stuff, as well as being open for you to ask any questions that you want. I also put up a monthly day in the life vlog, and of course there's all the back videos and audios to listen to, as well as a little mini e-course in there as well. So lots of good stuff. So if that sounds good, do check it out, and it's a great way of supporting the channel and making it possible for me to record these videos for you. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in another video. Bye.